Hello, hello world. My name is Ashley Collins. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being present. Thank you so much for viewing in general. I always appreciate like the random spurts of love that you give me, whether in my inbox or whether it's in the comments below. I appreciate you so, so much. Um, I have a question for you at the end of the video. Remind me, remind me to ask the question. I'm gonna write that down. I'm not gonna write it down. I'm just, I'm stalling because I have something to share. I mean, I share so much fucking personal shit. It's like, like, sometimes I feel like I'm naked walking around people because it's like, oh my god, you know all my fucking deep dark secrets. Tell me something about you, you know? <laughs> Tell me something about you that way I don't feel so insecure. Um, so I've dated two older men in my life. Um, the second one was um, we just weren't compatible. I don't think it was a maturity thing. It's just like we just weren't very compatible for each other. If you're watching this, hey boo. Um, the first one though is the one I really kind of want to avoid, but I'm just gonna fucking say it out loud. Yeah. Okay. So when I was 14 years old, I dated an older man. Huh. Okay. <laughs> um, it was an awful relationship. Which of them wasn't actually? I don't know. It was an awful relationship, and I didn't realize until in my 20s how ethically immoral and fucked up it was how it's very um it was very predatory like he he saw me as this this young extremely insecure girl and he took advantage of that vulnerability and it really bothers me that like i remember once at work i was um talking i've had so many fucking jobs i was talking to these bouncers and they were looking at this group of girls and they were like maybe 15 16 years old and they're like drooling over them and i'm like what the fuck do you want with a 15 year old what can she what are you lacking so much in your fucking life that you need to take advantage of someone who's a child they are a fucking child and i, I don't mean to like offend any teenagers watching this right now because i remember when i was a teenager and i hear this all the time um oh i can't date guys or guys or girls my age because they're just not mature enough let me tell you guys something okay and this is like a fucking fact they don't get better as they get older. <laughs> as an adult now, no one knows what the fuck they're doing. I'm gonna say that again. As an adult now, no one knows what the fuck they're, what they're doing. I think the difference is, as I get older, I want to avoid the fuckery. I, don't, I want to avoid the fucking games. If we're not gonna work out, you know we're not gonna work out. And I think that as an older woman now, like I, I know what I want and I think that's what attracts teenagers to older people but i would want to encourage a, a teenager to not rush it don't rush it if you are dating someone right now who is who's older than you i i encourage you to to be the mature one because that fucking adult's not doing it and just end it um <laughs> you may think that kids your age are like are stupid and foolish but that's because you are a kid and if you do want to experiment and explore, I encourage you to um, talk talk to a school official, talk to your parents, um, talk to someone who you feel safe with, as opposed to like dating someone who's older. I just, I feel like I shouldn't have to say that out loud, but I, there's some fucking, there's some fucking sickles out there who want to take advantage of people. Okay, enough with the seriousness. Let's talk about um, the age gap in dating for legal consenting adults. Okay. Um, would I date? Okay. So, ooh, okay. There's someone to fucking talk about. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That was so inappropriate. I'm going to stop trying to move around so much. Um, cause I'm not going to re-record this. This is the fifth fucking time I've re recorded this and I have things to do today. Okay. Go to my handy dandy notes. Okay. So I think that for me, it's hard dating in my age now, um, being in my 20s, because men in their 20s, not, not saying all of them, but men in their 20s aren't really looking to settle down. They're not really looking for a commitment, as opposed to women in their 20s, like they're they're throwing out the propaganda that like, oh, your, your clock's going to start ticking at 30, so you might as well like settle down and have babies now, you know? <laughs> so like, I think that's why it's like in our 20s, it's very hard to date because it's like men just want to have fun and explore and shit like that. And we're like, oh my God, I need to have babies now, you know? <laughs> so, so I think that's one, one reason that women, younger women are attracted to older men. Also, um, for women... We 
are attracted to the aging process. Um, like you see it now with like George Clooney, Denzel Washington, Jeff Goldblum. It's like they start, as men get older, like they start to like bloom into this fucking like gorgeousness of fucking gray, you know? As, <laughs> and with, um, for men, their ideal woman, they, they, they always have the ideal woman in their head, but she never ages. So that's why, like, they're, they're, they're all, we're always throwing these, these items, these packages of, like, how to continue to make ourselves look younger in order to uh, continue to, to attract the man, you know? The, so I'm going to say that one more time. The man, uh, men's ideal woman never ages. So that's why, like, some, sometimes they tend to start to pursue younger women because, like, they don't... And it's, I also think it's a, uh, it's a confrontation of your own mortality. You know, if you date someone who is older or 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 your your exact age or like you have to confront that oh my god i'm gonna fucking die soon so <laughs> okay so that's uh that's some some deep analysis for you on um why we date older slash younger people um what else did i want to say what's the highest age that you can go when dating someone like i i, I think that as long as you are a legal consenting adult there it doesn't matter how old the person is or how young the person is. I do have to say that there are some gold diggers out there. There are some gold diggers out there who, who want to date someone older because like they just want their money. And I think that we need to be mindful of that. But at the end of the day, I think that this is gonna be a super short video because I don't see a problem in the age gap. I think that um, people tend to shame it a lot. Um, <laughs> I Like I said, I've never, really, I've never really dated someone older than me, ironically. Ironically, I've only really dated younger people, but I think that's just because I have a very young spirit. I have a very young, lively spirit, and I like to have fun and stuff, and um, <laughs> I think that uh, younger guys are attracted to that about me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that we should focus less on the age number and more on the individual, the person, how they make you feel. Uh, do they make you happy? Do they, um, <laughs> are they bringing something to the plate in your life that can help expand your life? So rather than looking at their age number, look at the individual themselves. Like I said, as long as they're consenting adults, I sh shouldn't have to fucking say that out loud. Uh, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Has someone asked you that today? How's your day? I hope you answer out loud, because I care. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. Like I said, I'm not going to re-record this. Um, <laughs> I've, just, I've been trying to encourage myself to just, like, let loose and just be more myself in my videos. Because, like, I feel like I, I'm, like, someone, I was talking to someone in real life, and they're, like, I just wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this version of you and I was like oh like so I just need to be like more real and like more like lazy 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 doozy I just made up that fucking word but like that's that's what I also what I do in my life I like to make up words so like I I want you to know my story but I also want you to know the real me in my videos so this is the real me <laughs> with that fucking creepy Mickey in the background I'm gonna sell him I'm selling him um, did I steal it? Maybe. No, uh, maybe. I probably, I probably stole him. I probably stole him. But the child left it. The child left it and they never came back for it. So <laughs> she's a thief. Um, <laughs> I just find it interesting that like women are always encouraged and sold to stay young forever. And it's, uh, it's <laughs> frankly, it's, it's very frustrating because it's like, Men are told to embrace their olderness, their olderness, their aging process, the 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 thing that comes naturally, um, biologically to us. Um, they're they're uh, told to in, uh, to embrace their grays, but women are like, here, get all the hair dye that you can because men don't like seeing the gray. And I never even thought about like I'm gonna get gray soon. That's exciting. Uh, <laughs> there was a survey that asked what men look for in a woman. And the, the vast majority said they just want someone who's fun and honest. And a lot, ironically, a lot of the women were uh, saying that they look for a certain thing in age. So um, I found that very, quite interesting, quite interesting. Um, in conclusion, stay away from the gold diggers, stay away from the people who want to take advantage of you. Um, if you are someone who who puts on your fucking bio, I only date this certain age bracket. Um, sh I respect your preference, but I do think that you you are limiting yourself by saying I only date twenty one to twenty nine year olds. Like, 
explore have fun have fun dating should be fun have fun with it okay guys stop judging other people for the age gap you know they they found happiness stop being jealous because you haven't found happiness yet oh that was mean sorry but it's real it's real like like i still get very guilty of that like i'll look on people's instagram i'm like oh i'm so fucking happy that they're fucking happy with each other you know <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with like as long as they're happy as long as they're safe it's okay. Age gap doesn't matter. I'm going to end this because, like, I feel like I'm rambling. Um, oh, oh, also, 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 dating. <laughs> Another thing um, that I found interesting was that um, the younger a person that you date, um, it keeps you young. I mean, like, look at Hugh Hefner, you know? <laughs> like, he's, like, the perfect example of, like, being surrounded by young younger women and, like, it helped him helped him to live a little bit longer. But, you know. At the end of the day, we're all gonna die anyway, so that was morbid. Sorry. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this video gave you some kind of value. Oh, what I really wanted to focus on was um, don't worry about the age gap about who you're dating um, right now or in the future. As long as they make you happy and fulfilled, that's all that should primarily matter. As long as they're a consenting adult, should say that a thousand more times. Uh, <laughs> pedophilia is 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 an issue. It's wrong, and. Like, I feel like we're, we're very hush-hush about it. Like, like it's, it's, like, it's like we're saying Voldemort. But it's a real thing that happens. And, like, you, you might fucking work with that person, you know? And, yeah, we need to confront it rather than just being like, shh, we, just, we don't talk about that. Because it, it happened. It happened to me, you know? Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about that. Because I, I was just mainly worried that, like, someone would take the video down. But, you know, whatever. I always have ideas. I have ideas for years. You can't get rid of me yet, YouTube. <laughs> um, thank you for watching this. This is my friend, my horse friend. Um, <laughs> if you liked it, um, like, comment. I love, love, love the comments. I live for the comments. Please comment and then subscribe. Um, follow me on my social media. My Instagram and Twitter handle are at the aunt of dragons. Um, and you can add me on Facebook if you like. My real name, that's my real name, Ashley Collins. Um, I'm like one of one of like five black girls on there, so it's like very easy to find me. And um, someone suggested that I get a get a get a Patreon so I can get like donations for my videos and stuff. And I wanted to get you guys' opinion on it. Cause like I don't know, like huh, I, I hate asking for things, but like I don't know, I, do, I feel like I do work really hard on my content. I do a lot of research, I do a lot of talking to myself in the shower, talking to myself on the bus, um, to, to prep for these videos. Because it's like, I'm healing myself through the video, and in the process I want to help someone else heal. I want to help someone else find love, whether it's with another person or with themselves. So, should I? Should I? No? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I should. I should, right? I should take myself more seriously. I'm rambling. Thank you. I'm on my way to a photo shoot. How do I look? Do I look, look okay? Huh? Okay. I'm nervous. Thank you. Um, be nice to someone every day of your single life, and don't forget to smile.